Okie dokie. Well, let's try to determine whether our functions are inverses numerically. We've done algebraically, well, kind of algebraically. Yeah, we did do that. Uh, we've done graphically, and now we need to do numerically. A, G, N, algebra, graphically and numerically. Um, what that means is we're going to use the table feature on our graphing calculator. So we're going to type these functions into your calculadora. So type them into your y equals. You may want to pause so you can type these in here. Mine just magically appear. Um, and then what you do is if you go to your graph, and you can tell graphically they look like they you know, would reflect over the line y equals x. But you can tell if you go to your table, hit second table. Oh, sorry, I need to go back here to your y equals. Your numerator is a binomial, so make sure that goes in parentheses. If you type it in x plus 1 divided by 4, and it really means x plus one fourth. So make sure you use parentheses. Um, so let's go to our table. So you hit second and then your graph button. That goes to your table. And if you look at, I don't know, maybe something up along the lines around your zero, zero and stuff like that, um, you can determine whether these graphs are um, inverse functions or not. So looking at our graph, um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to see if your x values and your y values will be flippy floppy. Um, well, I'm looking. So we need to add something else here on your y equals. So let's go down to your third value. And what we're going to do is we're going to substitute in, we're going to show this graphically by substituting in your y sub 2, which is your second function, into your first function. So in order to do this, you should follow these keystrokes go to your vars button, which is right here next to clear, hit vars, um, and notice up here it says y vars, that's y variables, so cursor to the right. We're dealing with functions, so we're going to hit 1 for function, and we need to hit 1 for y sub 1, so we're going to hit y sub 1. That goes there. Now we need a parenthesis, and we're going to show that you're, we're plugging in our y sub 2 into y sub 1, so when you hit variables, go to the right for y variables, hit 1 for function, and you hit 2 for your y sub 2 in parentheses. And then we need to do the same thing because we want to substitute y sub, two, or y sub 1 into y sub 2. So we're going to hit variables. And you're going to go over y variables. You're going to hit 1 for function. And now we want to take our y sub 2 and we're going to plug in our y sub 1. So notice how we're doing the same keystrokes over and over again and over and over and over. So if we hit enter, and now since these, this is where we're plugging our values in, when you go to our table, second, graph, when you go to your table, you need to cursor over to your y3 and your y4. And if you look, oh my gosh, these are the same values. These are the same, 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 same. All those are the same. So what that means is these are inverse functions. So this would be a... Yes. Oh, actually, we just verified it. So what you need to do is you need to plug in your functions. Plug in your functions, f of x and g of x. That's going to be in y1 and y2. And then y3, you need to put a y sub 1 in parentheses, y sub 2. Got to use your y vars. Then y sub 4, you say y sub 2, parentheses, y sub 1. If those values are the same, when you cursor over in your table, then that means they are inverses. Ugh.